Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, a growing number of surveys focusing on the health, economic and social impacts of COVID-19 have been conducted with Ethnic and Migrant Minority, or EMM for short, respondents all across the world, either by targeting ethnic and migrant minorities as the main focus of the survey or by including significant respondents from these minorities within general population surveys via boost samples or owing to large sample sizes. As these surveys can provide meaningful insights about the COVID-19 experience for ethnic and migrant minorities in a wide range of areas of social life, the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry has launched and is curating a special COVID-19 collection to facilitate access to and visibility of such surveys. This COVID-19 collection is already publicly available on the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry and can be accessed using the keyword, COVID-19. All surveys that are part of this COVID-19 collection are described and documented using a detailed and structured metadata schema, in other words a template or form compiling the technical information about the surveys. All this metadata is then made publicly available to anyone visiting the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry. The COVID-19 collection is also intended to be a live collection, meaning that new metadata for new or not yet captured COVID-19 surveys can be added at any time. Specifically, as you are a data producer who is currently developing or has already completed a COVID-19 survey that includes ethnic and migrant minority respondents, with a sample of at least 250 minority individuals, you can contribute to the COVID-19 collection by contributing metadata about your survey using an online form on the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry's backend. Please note that you will not be asked to add any microdata or survey findings. As the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry and its COVID-19 collection handle metadata only, you will only share information about the technical and essential characteristics of the survey, and if you have already made the data available in a repository or archive you will be able to provide links to those or to any reports or publications you wish to share with others. To contribute to the COVID-19 collection as a data producer, you will need to complete the following steps. Send an email with the subject line, COVID-19 survey, to express your interest in contributing metadata about your survey. In the body of the email, please provide the name of your survey as well as some general information about your survey, country and locations where conducted, sample sizes, which minorities included, timing, etc. Then fill out an application form to request an account that will grant you access to the online form for contributing metadata to the COVID-19 collection. Once both of these steps have been completed, the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry will be in touch via email to share your issued account, which is a username plus a temporary password, as well as all essential training materials for compiling metadata for your COVID-19 survey. Once you have your issued account and are ready to contribute metadata for your COVID-19 survey, you will need to go to the back end of the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry and log in using your issued username and temporary password. You will then be greeted with this welcome page. You should then change your temporary password to a personal one by going to your name in the upper right hand corner and then clicking on profile. For a more detailed explanation of how to change your password, please consult video one of the video tutorial series, Backend Platform of the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry. For contributing metadata for your COVID-19 survey, click on Surveys, which can be found on the left-hand side of the welcome page. You will then be directed to a new page where all the surveys already captured by the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry are listed. On this page, you will find in the upper right-hand side the Create Survey button. By clicking on this button, you can access the blank online form for contributing metadata. After you click on the Create Survey button, you will be directed to a new page called, Create Survey. This page in its entirety is the blank online form that you'll need to fill out to produce metadata for your COVID-19 survey. We will now briefly discuss how this online form should be used. More detailed guidance can be found in video 5 of the video tutorial series, Backend Platform of the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry. This form is set up so that at the very top, you see the status of the record. Since this form is blank and you're filling it out for the first time, the status is auto-set to draft. 
Below the status information you'll see that all the variables for which you need to fill out responses or metadata are found on the left-hand side. Please note that next to a number of variables, you'll see a small red asterisk. Such variables are those that have been deemed essential, meaning that a response other than don't know, information not available or not applicable should be provided whenever possible. Next to each variable, you're provided with a field, which you need to use to fill out your response. For each field, a short help text has been provided to remind you of how to correctly fill it out. As you'll also see, the form is quite extensive and comprehensive, in fact, there are more than 200 variables that are organized into 11 different sections. This means that you will need to reserve some time to properly and fully fill out the form. As the form does not auto-save, it's imperative that you save your work at least after completing every section, or every two to three minutes. To save your work, you'll need to scroll to the very bottom of the form and click on this button. Whenever you are fully finished inputting metadata for your COVID-19 survey, save your work one last time, leaving the status as draft. Then take note of the unique ID issued for your COVID-19 survey. You will also need to confirm in writing that your metadata is ready for review by emailing the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry with a subject line, COVID-19 survey, with the unique ID of your COVID-19 survey in parentheses, ready for review. For the body of this email, please mention the unique ID of your record and the English name of the survey. Please also specify that you have read the conditions of use of the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry and its metadata and that you agree to have your contributed metadata attributed with the CC01.0 Universal, CC01.0, Public Domain Dedication License, accompanied by the following text, our community norms, as well as scientific best practices, expect that proper credit is given via citation. Please cite both the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry and the data producers when reusing the metadata. After receiving your email, the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry will work with you to review and validate the metadata for your COVID-19 survey, following an established, multi-step, and rigorous quality check process. Whenever the quality check process has been completed for your COVID-19 survey, the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry will obtain your permission to publish the metadata, making it publicly available on the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry and officially part of the COVID-19 collection. We look forward to collaborating with you and showcasing your COVID-19 survey with the Ethnic and Migrant Minority Survey Registry's international audience.